We've approached cybersecurity with we don't know what tomorrow's threat's going to look like. Every year, hacks are becoming bigger, more frequent and sophisticated. Cybercrime is estimated to cost the world a whopping $8 trillion by 2022. And cybersecurity experts are working day and night not just to catch up, but to outsmart the hackers. Here in Cambridge, a team of mathematicians and ex-British spies have built a cyber defence strategy that's based on our own human immune system. And now it's being used to defend some huge interests. This is Drax Power Station. It's the largest coal-powered plant in the UK. Imagine your job was to protect a company of this size and importance from hackers. Drax Power Station generates approximately 7% of electricity for the country. So for a power station which uses data to, to manage everything that you see around here, or each of the business units, each of the controllers, it's data. So Drax and other critical national infrastructure is constantly seeing breach attempts. But the company Darktrace, founded by those mathematicians and spies, is helping defend Drax Station in a new way. Before Darktrace, we took a very traditional approach, the same as any other organisation in, in the way it fights cyber warfare, in that you've got several layers of firewalls. But there is an acceptance that no matter how good those defences are, you'll still be breached. Instead, Darktrace's technology focuses on preventing any breaches from doing harm. And just like your body's immune system that fends off viruses, Darktrace is building a cyber immune system for the computers. The human immune system has, at its core, this innate sense of self. By knowing what is you, it can then identify what is other. Our bodies will then adapt, sort of mount a defence against that bacteria or virus, and write the code of that defence into our immunological memory. The digital immune system is genuinely inspired by the human immune systems. Once we have smart systems that can learn what's normal and spot the strange and the unusual, that's great. We can tell human beings about attacks as they are emerging inside of the business. I often describe dark trace as life assurance. You have it, not because you expect to be breached all the time, and when it does happen, you're able to see that anomalous behaviour. And we do that. More often than not, that anomalous behaviour can be explained, but when it isn't, then we're able to deal with that incident immediately, take it off the network, find out where the problem was, fix it so that it doesn't happen again. This technology is like a fever that alerts us when we have a virus and that we need to take action to treat it. But Darktrace isn't stopping at that. It wants the artificial intelligence not just to diagnose, but also to start treating the computer virus even before the humans can intervene. What's really exciting that's uh, been developed over the last year is the ability to autonomously respond to attacks as soon as they happen, letting the machine judge what's normal and unusual and starting to interrupt and prod and poke and disrupt those signs of attack before they begin to have a major impact. AI doesn't suddenly fix everything. I think it just takes us to the next phase of, of good guys versus bad guys.